Matadilia community is said to be faced with a challenge of hunger and poverty, driven by parents who died due to HIV and AIDS and popular killings surrounding that area, which leave children and elderly people to hate families. This does not only deny children their right to schooling, but also to enjoy their childhood stage. One of the teachers within the community says this situation makes their work difficult as most of their students are orphans who fail to attend school well due to no fees, to take care of their sick parents, as well as to hate families. The situation is said to drive them to early marriages or drop out of school. <laughs> Impa <laughs> Matalilia Community Development Association says what prompted them to invite the minister was after realizing that there is little knowledge about the services offered by the Ministry of Social Development, yet some of the challenges facing the community can be addressed by the ministry. The members of this association say due to poverty they established an income generating association which does not only benefit them as members but also the community. <laughs> Police create the ceremony and outline the services they offer, thus how people avoid being involved in crime. Senior Inspector Duwamulu, on behalf of Child and Gender Protection Unit, says their doors are always open for people to report any form of crime. He therefore appealed to teachers to take into consideration the kind of students they teach so as to help them make informed choices and not to bottle up crime. <laughs> The Minister of Social Development, Honorable Matiba Sodoti, says she learned the challenges facing the community and in that some will be addressed immediately while some in the near future. She says they have already introduced a program aimed at assisting vulnerable groups to earn a living, adding that they are working collaboratively with Matadila Community Development Association. She therefore pleaded for unity amongst the vulnerable people. The project is in the social development. The Ministry of Social Development 
government is mandated to provide services to vulnerable groups such as orphans and disabled persons as well as provide bursaries to such groups. The ministry also advocates for the rights of the disabled and also of our old age patients. Furthermore, it has introduced a new program which is aimed at funding the vulnerable groups to start their own projects. Ntepasi Heshepe, LTV News, Matedile, Mafiteng.